Hello Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading. Um, I'm going to dive straight into it because I can see that my video footage is kind of being a little bit strange, but I hope you guys can hear me well. I did do a check, but I never know. It's Mercury retrograde and I'm a Virgo, so it really gets to me. Um, anyways, I'm going to dive straight into it. This is for the week of the 8th going to the 14th of May, so I'm going to shuffle your cards to see what's going on for you. All right, for Scorpio, please. For Scorpio. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, it was just because I was hearing something, and then I actually looked at your cards, and it makes a lot of sense why I was hearing that. Like, I'm hearing, like, a huge groan about something. I just feel like you're tired, <laughs> and I feel like you're just about to get to something that you thought was going to make you relax, and like, ah, great, but it felt like maybe there was more work than you anticipated, which is okay. I, I feel very positive energy coming through with your cards anyway, so this is all good, and everything's going to be all good, and I think you've been working towards things being all good, but it's just like, ugh how long like i'm hearing a huge like uh, like like really <laughs> like you're tired i got it and i physically am starting to feel very tired in your reading so your eyes could be feeling heavy you could be rubbing them a lot more you know i just feel like your body is exhausted and you've been really working hard to get to a point where you can finally relax and you're going to reach that point and realize you have a little bit more to do which is okay like i think a lot is changing around you you're manifesting in a lot as well so <laughs> it's worth it for what you're trying to call in. Let's see what's going on for Scorpio, please. And plus, you guys just had a lunar eclipse in your sign, so it doesn't surprise me. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm... I just felt some sort of anxiety and I, I'm going to look into why I'm feeling that. It may be pertaining to your relationship, Scorpio, like I'm not quite sure exactly, like it's something that you're, so I'm going to show you so you can understand what I'm seeing here. So the first card you had out was the Eight of Cups, which is kind of feeling like something is more out there for, for them, you know, looking into the moon, feeling these deep emotions, really reflecting on, hmm. Like, do I really, should I really stay here? You know, I have eight cups, which is like, I have some sort of fulfillment, but it's just not fulfilling enough. And what they're actually kind of longing for is the last two. And usually the eight of cups is actually when you're walking to find the last two. So a lot of you may be craving some sort of like emotional connection. You know, that could just be friendships. It could be, you know, f connections with family. It could be longing for somebody here. Or it could just be in terms of, of course, romantic relationships or whatever, you know. So that's interesting. These two together, I feel like this feeling of kind of like longing for something, wanting something, is going to get you to this two of cups, which is a very healthy, loving, mutual relationship and connection. All right, very strong soulmate connection. But the four of pentacles is in the way. Sorry for the, the glitching and the lagging on the... Uh, video if you can see it but the four of pentacles is like holding back like i don't want to do that though if i do that i'm gonna lose part of me if i do that i'm gonna have to let this go if i like you're seeing love or you're seeing a relationship as some sort of sacrifice or some of you could really be holding yourself back you're not being your true authentic self in a relationship because you're scared that you're gonna let your guard down like there is something of of that nature coming through so maybe this is like you you finally get a relationship and you're realizing how much work you have to do on the inside, you know. There's so much there's only so much you can do before you, you know, healing you can do. And then when a the relationship comes, you realize there's more. Like that is that kind of energy if it's in in terms of love. Because the four of pentacles is blockage. It's it, you know, you have the uh, opportunity and you have the willpower to get to the ten, but you're stuck at the four here because you're scared that if you let this go, you're never gonna get to that ten. And that's what the message is here. You're scared that you're you're going to take a risk on something that actually is not going to be very rewarding for you or that might hurt you. So you're kind of resisting it, even though you're wanting it. Interesting. And then you have the three of wands, which usually is, you know, when you put the energy out there and you're waiting for it to come back to you. So maybe a lot of you kind of want love, but you are holding back and you're just waiting for it to come to you instead. 
And for some reason, I don't know why, it just doesn't feel like it's going to work that way. At least with that Four of Pentacles, you know, you can be doing your own thing, living your life, loving yourself, loving the life by yourself, and the right person will come along and it will be great. But it kind of feels like this. there is a fear here. So even if someone did come along, like, would you really be open to it? Like, there is something that's blocking you in terms of your love. It could, again, be friendships. If a lot of you spend a lot of time alone, you could be resisting new opportunities with friends, with socializing, with making a community. So let me dive into this a little bit more. Can we clarify this Four of Pentacles, please? Queen of Wands. Ace of Wands. Okay, that kind of just feels like to me that maybe there's just a lack of confidence in who you are. Uh, because we have a very different energy. We go from this very confident with the Queen of Wands to this Four of Pentacles, which is this really like vulnerable energy. Queen of Wands is very beautiful, very charismatic, very bubbly. You guys could relate to that. Maybe this is a part of you, you know. Ace of Wands is very sexual energy. I'm not going to lie. You guys may be very, you know... You guys may be holding back from sexual activities. Like, sorry to say it, but you guys are Scorpio, so I'm sure you're comfortable with me saying it. Or if not, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, but the Queen of Wands is a very mysterious. She's very attractive because of her myst mystery. Because um, there's something very magical. And, and Scorpios, you guys do have that element. You're very attractive to people because you are a mystery. So hey, I am describing you. You're very strong as a person. And the Ace of Wands is like, you have a lot to offer. You're very passionate. And maybe this is somebody, maybe having, like, it could be a fire sign, all right, Aries, Sag, or Leo, but there could be somebody here who is offering you something, but you're holding back from it, because I don't think you guys really trust this, or just a little bit deep that I'm going to say here, some of you, if that Queen of Wands, that bubbly energy I was speaking about is you on the surface, I think deep down there is something that is really blocking you from being in a loving connection, you know. So you are this beautiful person on the inside and outside, but I am going to say that there is something inside that you're not showing people. Which I, okay, makes sense. Some people don't deserve to see that side too, so nothing wrong about it. Clarify one more time. So you do have somebody coming through here. Knight of Cups, this could also be you wearing a heart on your sleeve here, because this is like a water sign card. So Knight of Cups is a knight in shining armor coming through, putting a heart on the sleeve and offering you some a cup of love. That's what it's about. This is a very young, youthful energy, so this person may be a little bit younger than you, or the way that they express themselves or act is a little bit younger than you, is a bit more immature than you. But this is usually, with the Knight of Cups, a very genuine offer because it's coming from an emotional place. It may not be very stable, but it's coming from a loving place. These are true emotions that they're expressing. Who is this Knight of Cups? Justice. Could be a Libra. We have the Nine of Cups here, so this could be some wish fulfillment here. Mm, I don't know if I like this energy. I think it's cute and I think it's fun. But the justice is like maybe you two are very out of balance. I do get that there could be an age gap or something here. Nine of Cups is usually like self-fulfillment and I think this person's I'm picking up on a little bit of a selfish energy from this person and I think it's just because they're quite young or like mentally quite young so I just don't think that they realize it. I do see that you are their wish fulfillment but I do see that they're only really thinking about themselves. I don't actually see that they have a lot to offer. Does that make any sense? All right I would kind of say no. <laughs> Maybe this is what you're holding back from could be a purely sexual relationship again doesn't have to be i'm just i will move away from love by the way for those <laughs> i'm sorry it was just coming through so i had to speak about it but yeah knight of swords which is about communication and it could be cutting something off here because with the justice card it, and this kind of justice card is like an oh well, jesus a lot of cards just fell out there in this particular deck, the Justice card is unbalanced. And there is an owl here, so maybe deep down you kind of know that this is a bit unbalanced. I think you kind of admire this person or there's something about them that you are attracted to. 
but I think that's where it ends. We do have the magician, so you can manifest anything that you like. If this is not it, then it's simply it's just not it. Okay, because I'm kind of not picking, I'm not feeling good about that. And if you don't, and that's a message better than itself, if it's not a hell yes, then it's probably a hell no, you know. Not exactly with everything, but with most things, you know, especially when it comes down to people where you're giving your time and energy to, you know, if you're not really kind of excited about it, feeling good about it, and it feels like mm, maybe I shouldn't, then you probably shouldn't. So anyway, I do believe that you are attracting in love. And with that being said, look at this. So funny. Look at this. So funny. Now, like you went from being the person who had something to offer to somebody else. And they didn't really have much to return back apart from this kind of cute emotion, whatever they're cute in general. Now you have the ace of wands being offered to you with the king of wands. So you are going to have someone match you on your level. Again, it could be fire sign energy, but it doesn't have to be. This is just a fiery divine counterpart okay someone who matches your energy someone who is also you know very strong very bubbly very you know you guys match and there was a mismatch here um with the other person okay so it's a one so you're gonna take this new passionate hot heated new beginning because this is what you're you kind of manifesting and it will come in but you have to believe that it will come in too because, you know, otherwise when it does come along, you're not going to really accept it because you're going to feel very insecure or, you, you know, so just pay attention to that. All right, anything else? Because I want to talk about your oracle cards because I have to say it because we've been really diving into the other stuff. Um, your overall message for the week is the, really the fact that you're growing. You're, you're growing, you're evolving. Sorry, you are moving on to this new chapter of your life. The Imagine card is really about that. You're elevating, you're going higher. So you are learning a lesson and maybe it's to do with holding back from somebody who you may have used to give your time and energy to. It is kind of, I am going to say, this is kind of like a very, you have a lot of passion to give and I think that maybe you were giving it to somebody who was just there. But you felt deep down that maybe you wanted real love, you know, something was different. So you are elevating, you're going into a new chapter, but there is some more work to do. Uh, we have top wood coming through, which is the doors are opening. This does usually say, don't give up, okay? Like, don't get too um, worried about how much work there is because you're, start, you're doing it. You know, the doors are opening for you. So you are actually going to start to see some manifestations coming to life. I also see there's a lot of cleaning involved. And there's a lot of work that you guys are doing at this time. All right, and you're flexible, which is saying to be flexible, right? Uh, this is not, this is good to have expectations and boundaries and standards, absolutely. But when it comes down to where your life is going, I think it's a little bit up in the air at the moment, specifically since you're moving into this new chapter of your life, like things are a little bit uncertain. There is something that you're manifesting and that's what this egg and chopped wood is talking about. So just be flexible with everything else, okay? Like do, you don't need to dedicate yourself to something just yet if, if it's not the right time for you. All right, because things are naturally going to go the way that they need to go. So like you can really trust in yourself and everything else that everything's going to work out perfectly. OK, let's pay attention who you're giving your lovely energy to. OK, let's get you some random tea leaf tarot for you, Scorpio. All right, for Scorpio, please. OK. Oh, the moon. We just had that. Changes in your life. That's very interesting. We have happiness, all right, with the flowers coming through. And we have legs. So this is really similar to your oracle cards. This is saying stepping into a new experience. It does feel like a new love situation. It does feel like new people around you. All right, you do have the butterfly on the bottom of the deck here too, which is saying a change for the better. So everything is working out the way it needs to. You've gained a lot of wisdom along the way. And it's now is a good time that we're stepping into something completely new. Yes, so there is more work to do. There's more about yourself to discover. Be flexible, okay? Don't have some expectations of how your life should look like right now. Who should be in your life? What kind of relationship you should be in right now? You know, like society really sets a lot of timers on us, you know, and that of course makes us rush and panic and live from fear. But don't do that. Live in your pace. Everything will happen the way it needs to and you will manifest anything you want in your life, okay? But don't panic, all right? Because that's one thing that slows us down. For Scorpio... Scorpio, please. Oh, interesting. 
We have Ant Spirit. This is a number one, which is very lovely, all about new beginnings. And this is time to collaborate. So it's time to meet new people. It's time to socialize. It's time to get out there into the dating world. Okay, so maybe you have been, you know, sticking with one person. <laughs> I mean, not all of you, but like this is uh, not for all of you. I'm sure some of you are in very loving relationships. And in this case, it's time to really work on that. All right. Um, but this feels like a reading specifically for those who are single because this could be partnerships in terms of work though so some of you may relate to it in terms of that but this feels like a time to kind of see we have puzzles here so it's time to see who kind of fits into your life and who doesn't and it's okay like don't hold and don't you know hold expectation on people don't hold an attachment to people people will always come and go um but there's this energy of like the right ones will always stay um and always be a puzzle piece that fits in your life okay so just don't worry about it collaborate get to know people i think this is going to help you with your energy all right scorpio because you're going to meet the right people for you people who match your energy people who have the same thing to give to you that you have to give to them friendships partnerships whatever work situations you know um but yeah you have a lot to give to the world okay so i love you guys scorpio thank you so much for being here sorry that your reading is a little bit quick um because of everything i've got to go and sort out some stuff now for the house so i love you guys i wish you all the best and i hope to see you guys next time